And then I did a cut version in white vinyl. Hey everybody, Lux into Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. Woo! We are going to start a Tumblr today with some tacket and some glitter. And we have here a 20 ounce skinny straight from Makerflow. I have sanded it, washed it, spray painted it. This is Rust-Oleum 2X metallic gold. It's got the shiny gold cap. And now I'm going to apply two layers of Aline's Tacket over and over. I've mixed it with some water just to thin it out a little bit so it will brush on more smoothly. So here we go. All right, grab my Dollar Tree paper towel holder, put it here to sit for about 15 minutes. I'll come back off camera and do a second layer. I'll bring you back when it's time to apply the glitter. And we're back. Okay, the cup has been sitting here for a little while. It's now completely dry, but very tacky. We are going to put on some glitter and I am going to use this new to me glitter I got from Mr. Nola's Glitter called Cleopatra. It just looks stunning. So I'm gonna open this bag up and put some in the cup. This is not a holographic glitter. It is a very shiny metallic flash glitter and that's why I'm going to use it on this gold cup. So I'm not expecting a holographic rainbow, but we are gonna put it on and burnish it down and see what it looks like. Alrighty, let me put this in the bottle and we will commence burnishing. Okay, two to three fingers. We're just gonna rub it and make it lie flat. And then full hand. This is gorgeous, it is gold, it is sparkly. I'm probably gonna take it out and seal it with some Rust-Oleum, either matte or gloss, whatever I happen to grab on the way out the door. <laughs> either one will work, and then we will bring it back for a layer of resin. And we're back. Okay, this turned out really beautiful. I'm thrilled with how it looks. We have a gorgeous gold sparkly tumbler now, and I am going to put some graphics on it. I'm going to start by putting a vinyl background for one of the water slides. I have multiple water slides, and then I did a cut version in white vinyl of the exact same graphics so that it would fit in the same spot, and I can put a water slide over it. This has nothing to do with Halloween, in case anyone's wondering. I think I want to try starting with the top. And the reason I'm a little hesitant about where to start is because I've never done three water slides plus vinyl before. So I just, I think I've got my order correct, but you know, not 100% sure. Anyway, I have some alcohol ink. These are neon alcohol inks. I will link to all the artwork below so that you can, these, these come in individual blotches of neon alcohol inks that you can set up any way you want. I used Inkscape to do this uh, because my graphics are nine and a half inches long and Cricut Design Space won't let you do a print and cut longer than 9.25. I needed a quarter inch more than Cricut Design Space would allow. So I just brought the different elements, the different alcohol ink elements into Inkscape, which is a free graphic design program, and I did it there. There is no constraint except the size of the paper you're printing it on. So I'm gonna put this up here, and it will wrap all the way around like that. And then I'm gonna do a similar one at the bottom. And if I need to, I will double these. So we're gonna see how they look. Uh, I printed this on my favorite Hippo or Hippo H I I P O O water slide decal paper. Sealed it with two layers of Rust Oleum 2X gloss clear. And then a third layer was Plasti Dip Glossifier. You don't have to use the Plasti Dip Glossifier. Some people swear it's not necessary at all. I find it helps me because I'm kind of rough with these things. So that's why I use it. But it's all personal preference. You do need to seal it with some sort of clear spray because otherwise, when you put it in water to get it off the backing paper, the inkjet inks will run. So 
That's just my little spiel on my water slide prep. Have my silicone makeup brush, which is a perfect squeegee for getting out any water that's underneath. And then you wanna get the cup wet where you're gonna put it so it will slide around and let you manipulate to get it in the place you want. Use the squeegee, get out all the water and the bubbles and the wrinkles. Make sure everything's where you want it. I'll cut the other two out and we'll keep going. It's my tiger. Okay, almost done, yay! Uh, once I get the tiger on, provided I get the tiger on, everything dries overnight. And then I will put a layer of probably KS Liquid Stone Ultra UV Epoxy Resin over the whole thing because it has the extra UV protectants. And I will definitely be putting 504 from Mr. Nola's Glitter into that layer, try and disguise some of the edges and whatnot. There we go. My gorgeous blue tiger with the blue succulent and the neon alcohol inks. Okay, like I said, everything dries overnight. I will put a layer of resin on it with 504 glitter in it. The next time you see this, we should be out in the sunshine. Stay tuned. <laughs>